At TRI, we believe robots should amplify rather than replace people. Our mission is to help people with everyday tasks in their homes and elsewhere. Many of these manipulation tasks require more than just our hands and fingers. People use their bodies in creative ways to manipulate the world around them. Think about getting your groceries into your house in just one trip. You hold multiple bags in your arms, you open the door with your elbow, and then you hold it open with your hip. It's easy to imagine many other tasks, like lifting a large box, moving furniture, or collecting piles of laundry, where you need more than just your hands to get these jobs done. Our work towards truly capable robots involves developing hardware and algorithms that enable them to help with the large, heavy, and unwieldy items in our lives. Meet Punyo. In Japanese, the word Punyo describes something soft, cute, and resilient. Punyo's hands, arms, and chest are covered with compliant materials and tactile sensors so that it can make contact anywhere and feel it. The softness allows Punyo's surfaces to conform to the objects it's grasping, which prevents slipping and more evenly distributes grasping forces. You won't find standard robot grippers at the end of Punyo's arms. Instead, they're more like bubble paws with high-resolution tactile sensing cameras inside. The Punyo team is focused on larger-scale manipulation using the arms and chest to complement TRI's other efforts in finer robot hand and gripper-based dexterity. We put our hardware to the test with numerous contact-rich tasks. Some of these skills are demonstrated by people directly, while others are learned and fine-tuned using high-fidelity simulations. High-quality, consistent demonstrations are needed to teach robust policies, so we are dedicating significant time to intuitive teleoperation tools for whole-body skills. During these demonstrations, camera feeds, tactile sensor data, and robot motions are recorded and used to train the robot to perform the same contact-rich skills autonomously. Punyo also learns some of its skills in simulation. Given a starting point, a goal, and a single rough demonstration, Punyo can determine the motions required to rotate and lift various large objects. While learning, we can also work towards strategies that are more robust or energy efficient. Intuitive to people, and also true for robots, adding a grippy skin and manipulating objects close to our chest results in the ability to manipulate heavier objects using less power. It's surprisingly common to see robots carry objects, even heavy ones, using only their hands. Punyo does things differently. Taking advantage of its whole body, it can carry more than it could by simply grasping with outstretched hands. While softness, tactile sensing, and the ability to make a lot of contact advantageously allow better object manipulation, these features also make our robots safer, more reactive, and more approachable. The Punyo team at TRI is working towards a future where robots and people safely, productively, and happily collaborate side by side.